Alright, hi, welcome to the operative. This is a new game that came out just a few weeks ago. And it's look it look really good. So yeah, I'm gonna try it. Go. I hope there's no horror element in it. Bio M facility somewhere in the US. 1992. You answer my questions as usual. One for yes, two for no. Do you understand? Do you believe in extraterrestrial life? Extraterrestrial? No. Are you currently no. Are you married? No. Do you work in law enforcement? Hmm. Do you know who I am? Hmm. Do you know who you are? No. Are you... What? Good. He's ready. The Operator! <laughs> FDI Headquarters, Washington, D.C. 7.30 a.m. Dang, got the, the resolution is full. Moon Macro System? FDI Federal Department of Intelligence Even Turner My password is 45 16 There you go Enter. The true we seek. Even Tanner. Welcome to the FDI. You are assigned to the operation operator program. Please read the following document before proceeding. Your program supervisor will contact you with further instructions. Uh-huh, yeah, this is a government federal government trade terminal. All unauthorized access is strictly prohibited and subject to criminal prosecution. Sharing any of any information from terminal with unauthorized personnel is forbidden and also subject to criminal prosecution. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I work. Agent call the hotline. The call is dispatched to secretary to verify the agent identity, clearance level and request. The request is forwarded to the supervisor. The supervisor dispatches the call to an available operator. That's the bridges between the line between agent and operator. Fulfill the agent request. The line is closed. The program, the operator program is extremely confidential. Yeah. Mike Trench, director. Hey, pal. I old up. Get all that booze out of you? <laughs> I'm never going to, I'm going to drink in. <laughs> That's what you said last time. Well, I'm happy you're here. You and me at the FDI together. It's really great. But I gotta tell you something. When we're on the job, I can't treat you differently than anybody else. You understand, right? Of course. I mean, they're at the trench. Good. <laughs> well, I'd better run. The FDI can't run itself now, can it? Good luck with your first day. All right. So, oh, thank you, pal. Don't worry about me, right? The trench. Nice. Xavier Skinner, supervisor. Hmm. Good morning, Mr. Tanner. Welcome to the FDI. 
I assume you're up to speed on your mission here at the operator program? Yeah. Well, I'd read really uh welcome to Kimitsa. You know the basics. Good. So, just to recap, your job is to support our agents by providing them with all the help they need in the field to solve a case. That help can come in the form of fact-checking, video and audio analysis, even lab work. My job as a supervisor is to link the agents with an appropriately matched operator. Any questions? I'm sorry, you can't see... Um, why he's talking about... Why he's yapping about... Let me change my position for a little bit since everything's gonna be on the right side. Yeah. And I need to fix this too. There you go. Should be okay. Nope. When do I start? <laughs> nah, I'm doing right. Fine. It's just jump but first, you need to learn how to respond to an agent's request. Let's do a dry run, shall we? I want you to find my age. This objective just popped up at the top left of your screen, beside the applications menu. See it? Whenever you're stuck, or if you need help, simply click on the question mark next to the objective. Go on and click on the question mark, Tanner. Very well done, sir. Yes, just like that. Oh. You can always click on the question mark if you get stuck, though I'm hoping this won't happen often. I'm giving you access to the human database. The human DB, as we call it here. You can find mm -hmm. this and other tools to help you solve agent requests in the applications menu. Now go ahead, Operator Tanner. Solve my request. Find my age. When you find the answer, click on the objective and then select the answer on the screen. Alright then. Operator, you should find the information first. Oh, my bad. Yeah, the human will come. Nope, that's the wrong one. Eh. So how can I do that? I need help. Open the human DB and enter my full name, Mr. Tanner. You can find it in the applications menu on the top left of the screen. Top Once you've found my oh. age, click on the objective and then click again on my age. Xavier. Xavier Skinner. Never. And you are 42 years old. Do. Right. Like that, Tanner. I'll let you get settled in. And I'll contact you later with your first real request. Thank you very much. Thank you for this opportunity, sir. Ooh. Good, good, good. Straight to the la Straight to the point. I like it. FDI headquarters. Washington, D.C. 9 18 a.m. Oh, what? Well, so what should I do? Oh. Tanner, looks like your first request is somewhat of a baptism by fire. I have <laughs> baptism agent working by homicide. Fire. It's her first case, too. Uh -huh. Not ideal, but consider this a learning experience. True. I'll be monitoring you in the background. <laughs> I look forward to this. I'm patching the agent through now. Very nice, Alessandra Pendle. It's Operator Tanner, right? Yes, Sandra Pendle. I don't think our paths ever crossed at the Academy, did they? Anyway, no. I got a homicide at a bar downtown called The Sanctuary. Ironic, no? My Vic, dead on arrival. Is male, Caucasian, early 60s. He was shot in the head at close range around 2 a.m., just before closing time. Mm -hmm. As far as evidence, I got some surveillance footage from the bar. And, uh, some kind of list that I found on the deceased. Any chance you can work your operator magic and help find me an ID on the shooter? Sure, I'll do my best. Thanks, operator. Okay, I'm sending over the files. Good luck. There you go. Bar cam. Wow. I like it, I like it. This is our cutting edge video analysis system, Tanner.
Click on any relevant elements in the video to trigger an analysis. Go on, give it a whirl. <laughs> Thank you, sir. There you go. That's the woman. Just like with the video, nice. you can no, click on a photo a man. for further analysis. You can click on a photo for further analysis. Okay, and that's the victim. Looks like our victim is Henry Jenkins. Hmm. For some reason, we can't access his full profile. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, for the moment anyway, there's not much else we can learn about him. That's true. And so, next to the video, please. There you go. Seems like it's too blurry though. But nope, never mind. The camera got it. The oh, footage shit. quality is insufficient for a proper ID operator. Mm -hmm. You'll need to find another way to ID the killer. Another way to ID the killer. And how is it? Oh, what about a car? Nice. Ray will find a killer name. Ray will. So you go. The car belongs to Ray Wells. Nice. Now we know the perp's name. You mm -hmm. got something for Wells' address? Because I'll take it if you do. Yeah, sure. Killer us. There you go. Hey, that was the distributor. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't think that's right, operator. Yeah. Looks like it's the address for a car dealership. I don't mm. think Wells lives on the lot. What I'm looking for is Wells' home address. Can yeah. you track that down? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry. And there you go. My bad. Last known address. Oh, there we go. This should be right. Yep. Got it? 130 Laurel Street. Call Pepper. <laughs> what? Call Pepper? Never heard about Call Pepper. VA. I don't know what VA is. Yeah, that'll do. Nice work. Yeah, Next up you. is to bring Wells in. I'll keep you updated. Thanks, Operator Tanner. Good luck with the address. Not bad, Tanner. Not great, but not bad either. I'll contact you later with your next request. Sheesh, I'm trying, bro. Understood, Supervisor Skinner. Oh. Well, that one will. 5.32 p.m. Oh, there's a long break there. Oh, FDI most wanted. Please consult the letter FDI document. Most wanted list. Reminder, if you discover any information during your shift that may have the FDI. Uh-huh. Fred Smoking Ski. Wanted for mailing and hand delivery as well as possible. Oops. Good Tanner, university. I need you to follow up on an investigation started by a previous operator. I'll let the agent working the case bring you up to speed. Mm-hmm. Oh, Barry Walker. Mm. Oh, you like a politician in <laughs> UK somewhere. Something. Ha. Well, hell to you too. God damn it! Who are you? All right, Tanya, at your service. Great. I'm a Every new guy. Every time we get a new operator, it takes me twice as long. Mm -hmm. I got a life outside the FDI, you know. Interest, hobbies, full-blooded passions. I don't have time for this. So, can you tell me about the case? We got a missing persons case out here in Dryfield, Nevada. Connie Moore's her name. I canvassed the area, talked to the locals. I can't believe I'm saying this, but everyone thinks she was abducted by aliens. Dryfield, Nevada. Middle of nowhere, hot as hell, sandy. Calling it a small town would be an insult to small towns. People actually think aliens were involved. Look, I think it's bonkers too. Another weird thing is, over the past year, four people in Dryfield have claimed they've been abducted. Analysis. And so... every single time they reappeared somewhere in the middle of the desert out mm -hmm. here about a month later, Connie's story's the same. 
How can I access to other information? But seems like I don't have much. I thought she was missing. She was. Popped back up yesterday. Collected her testimony myself. She had a camera on her. Naturally, I like to look at the photos. But to do that, I gotta go through you, an operator. Lucky me, right? Yeah. So, what am I There's looking something at? Looking off for? about all this. I mean, beyond all the talk of little green men, just look for something that doesn't add up, okay? Um, she was the corniest core. I didn't even read this. Da da da. Connie Moore, her name, Connie Moore. They just threw the human DB first. Funny more. Well, she was part of the camera, collect her just three money so she had a camera on her. And she was like, don't look at a photo, got a true you lucky me. Well, here are the files. Find inconsistency. Good. There's it. Oh, shout. Testimony for the Kondimuru reappearance in 1982, March 5th. We recorded that her eyes witnessed testimony concerning her supposed alien adoption. The victim, a genie charge, Britain Hall, FDA transcriber. Uh -huh. Yes, it is. Don't let to think about it, but yes, they were there all around me. The Indians, what do they look like? The room was so bright, like I was looking to the sun and really saw the silhouette. Can you describe them the best as you can? They were human, except they were in something was off. They were too tall and thin, was disturbing actually. I couldn't see their face. I'm glad about that. What? Oh, yeah, only their silhouette, so it makes sense. Do you remember about the room? It was white, I mean entirely white, antiseptic. It smells so of like hospital. There was no door, no window, nothing, just whiteness. Uh -huh. I think they just want to learn about the study me. I was so scared to think that we said it would ask me question over and over again about my life, my family, my belief, everything. I guess it I guess that's what they do, study human. And why do you remember they were strange phone device, sort of mechanical. And there was heavy machine they were using when it was climbed to my head. I don't know why, but it was really kind of time. I think it's corny. Not really. That's the thing I remember in working out with the that I was like, I feel my head was throbbing. We did a drop something, something. Okay, it's a phone triangular report. Can't even remember. Uh -huh, last pin. Oh, not March, but 1982, second of. May, second of May and third of May. Yeah, so she went missing yesterday, and the tomorrow. Wow, that's so far away. Okay, that's cool. That is cool. Auto focus. Hmm. Hold up. Wait a minute. Ten thirteen. Five, 
three five. Wait. wait. Okay, three five. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Two photograph and I heard this about uh another photograph. Okay. It must have taken me to go away landed. Okay. Okay, I'm quite slow at this actually. So the picture is taken at where? Ten thirty take another hour, something something like that. So I'll uh, end hour in forty five minutes. Okay, that's a line. I need help. Connie Moore claims to have taken a photograph of a UFO. Mm -hmm. If you are of a more rational mind operator, most likely she did not. Your objective is to find a shortcoming or problem with said photograph. I mean, there's a photograph here. No. Yeah. That's the photo I think is problematic. I don't believe in intelligent life outside our planet. I don't believe in intelligent life on our planet. But we gotta be more specific. We need proof that something's off about the photo. Wait, you must have taken me an hour. I don't know, is it this? Smell like hospital? No. We need to prove that something off with the, with the photo. I don't know, what am I looking at? Show grip, jetpack, PNG. I don't know what I'm looking at right now. I need help. More. More. Focus on the photograph of the UFO operator. Consider looking at the photo's metadata. Maybe that will spark something for you. Why? The metadata is... Oh, I'm so dumb. Oh, God. Ah, it's 1992. Wait. No, it's 20... 21st. Eh, it's 21st of February. Ah, oh, fuck. Jackpot. Connie said she took that photo the day she disappeared. Clearly... She didn't. Maybe the aliens did funny things to her brain. Mm. Maybe your brain was funny to begin with. Do me a favor. Locate the position on the map where she supposedly snapped this photograph. Yeah, yeah. Mm. So this and this. So nine, ten. Nine forty three on Mori nine ninety nine ninety two thirty five, so it's Mori. But look at the position of photography, she was supposedly snap this photograph. Drive Hill. These two, right? It added these two. Nah. No. No. I'm not gonna use a chance. E. 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 Right here, it's Walker. All right. 
Mm. I'll check this spot out. I guess I gotta do a little hiking. Yeah. Probably sweat my goddamn b- <laughs> Well, guess I got heck. Suck it with chicken feel. Oh. That's what you get for using window S95. By what? Hall? Hello, Ivan. Oh no. Yep, here we go. I changed it again. Ah. Uh, how do you know my name? I know many things about you, Ivan. You're hacking to the FDI? What do you want? It's simple. I want the truth. What are you talking about? Let me show you something. Do you remember the list found on Henry Jenkins? You didn't see her name, did you? Even. Oh, God. They are adopted woman. This is scary. Pretty big coincidence, don't you think? I was going to assume that you didn't notice that. Of out of 136 people on the lead, 122 has been reported missing. One last thing, and this is the most important part. There's another name near the bottom that's been redacted. That name is the key to understanding everything. I have to go now even, but I'll be in touch soon. Promise. Well, real smooth. Real smooth. I like that guy, I like it. I like it. But god damn those binary number make make me scared. Yep. Do we go? Operator Tanner, are you mm -hmm. there? Agent Walker told me that your connection was suddenly cut. And when I tried to contact you, you were offline. What happened? Mm. Well, my computer just crashed. Hmm. Yep. I just see. like. I'll have IT look into that at once. The second shift of operators has arrived. You can go home now, Tanner. See you tomorrow. And don't be late. Well. See you tomorrow, Swabby Skinner. Shutting down. Do I need to watch all of this? Wow! The cat! Oh boy. Hmm. 
Everyone say pop in seats. I am. Wiki wiki. Time to time to work. Can we skip, please? Seven twenty two AM. Wow, you probably a little work, huh? Supervisor position. You know, what? if you play your cards right, maybe, just maybe. Ah, sorry, buddy. My phone's ringing off the hook here. I gotta run. But hey, great job. And uh, just just keep plugging away, okay? I'm proud of you, Evan. <laughs> of course, straight the branch. Operator Tanner, Agent Pendle has an update on yesterday's case. I'll patch her through in a moment, but before I do, I wanted to let you know that from this point on, you'll talk to the agents directly. Time to cut the umbilical cord. However, as your supervisor, I'll still be in the background monitoring your activity. Of course. Good morning, Operator Tanner. So you remember Ray Wells, right? Mm-hmm. So I checked out the address you gave me, but no sign of Wells. Then I get a call from Vice, and guess what? Wells was found dead in a downtown parking garage early this morning. Shot. Ooh. Point blank range. Now I'm working two homicides, and it's my first week. Welcome to the FBI, Alexandra. <laughs> anyway, the garage has cameras, and I got some footage of Wells. That's the good news. The bad news? I don't have all the footage. Sort of weird, but part of it is missing. Has it been tampered? I don't know. Looks that oh, way. Doesn't it? I don't put much stock into conspiracies, but the timing is definitely suspicious. Anyway, think you could take a look. I'm looking for anything that's different between the first and second half of the surveillance footage. Apart from Wells ending up dead and the blood splatter on the pillar. Sorry for the vivid details. Find something different. Cam number four.
Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Royal Wells, okay. That, yeah. Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> One year, 15 days. Um. Find something different. I don't know, brother. Sorry, any help? Yeah. We're looking for anything that's different between the two halves of the footage operator, apart from what Agent Pendle said about wells and the blood splatter. Anything that's different at all. Apart from what Agent Pendle said about wells and the blood splatter, anything that difference at all. Lights off in the second part. Look at that. Give me a sec, operator. I'm mm -hmm. gonna check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go. Should be then there. Well, well, well. I just found a bullet lodged in the lights framework. I'm sending you a photo. Mm hmm. Can you run an analysis and tell me what kind of bullet I'm looking at? Yeah, sure. Point ACP is a handgun one. Forty-five caliber. I believe mm -hmm. that's what the military and police use. Yep. Well, that's something anyway. Thanks for your help, operator. Appreciate it. If You're only welcome. we had all of the footage. Anyway, I should get back to the scene. Keep digging and see if you can find anything else about our perp. Yes, find more info and killer. Oh my god, what? Hello, Hal. Look, out of a deal to offer you. One that I think you might find in interesting. What do you mean? You see, we share a common goal. You, me, and the FDI. We just don't know it yet. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'll help you with the Wells case. But, you have to help me later when you ask for it. Do we have ourselves a deal? Well, why would I help a criminal? Because, as I already said, we share a common goal. And because, without my help, you and Angel Pando will never solve this case. Well, Skiller will, st will still be on the loose. And sadly, you never climbed the rank of the FDA. Sad face. Well, I can't do anything illegal. You won't be. I mean, apart from working with me. The world's most wanted hacker. <laughs> well, Panda could use my help, so. Yes, she could. And you could be her knight in the shining armor, even. Listen, I have access to the garage footage. All of the footage. And it's pretty spectacular stuff, even. So, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and put this big juicy missing part back in. So you can watch it and solve this crime. I'll help you if you help me. But one this look is suspicious. If somebody asks how you got it and got a missing footage, just say the analysis software restore it. It's supposed to, it's supposed to be cutting edge anyway, right? So do we have ourselves a deal? 
I have a deal, Hal. I'm just gonna go straight to the uh, straight to the point. Good. Now give me a few seconds to run my script. Wow, the FDI security show a lot, huh? You got hacking pretty easily. Done. Smiley face. All right. The missing footage has been magically restored. I hope you have your popcorn ready. I'll be back in a little later to collect my debt. Even until then. Let's see. Let's see. No, 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 not that, not that, not that. It's the car. Yeah, there we go. Is a woman? No I match. I see that you ran the facial recognition software, and zero matches turned up, operator. Mm -hmm. That's unusual. In fact, it shouldn't even be possible. This room. Our FBI less. databases are exhaustive. I'll flag this issue for later, but go ahead and share the image with Agent Pendle. There you go. Well, I have an image of Wells Killer. Wait, I don't understand. How did you get this? Well, let's see that I was off and cover the missing part. Well, this is huge. Thanks, yep. Tanner. I'll canvas the area immediately. Maybe someone has seen our Prince Charming. I'll talk to you later. And thanks again. Yeah, welcome. Just doing my job, Agent. Ooh, I'm lying right now. That's bad. Uh, FDI headquarter, Washington DC, 1.45 PM. I need to know how can I solve the other case. Those most wanted case, your debt. No. About that debt, even. Well, go ahead, Hal. I'm listening. Good. Now, I'm going to connect you to another FDI agent. Her name is Catherine Andrews. Just listen to what she has to say. Open your terminal and type the following command. Call 187-222-1988. 9-8 No secure I mean sure Call my Let me know Let's see Call one Sorry one eight seven two 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 one nine nine two. There you go Nice Operator Tanner, Hal told me that you'd be calling. Mm-hmm. Well, I, I had a choice. Look, I get it. Hal can be a world-class pain. Mm. Okay, I'll try to keep this short. About a month ago, I started working on a missing persons case. A woman reported that her husband had been gone for over 48 hours. Almost right away, the case felt different. Red tape all over the place. An unusual lack of cooperation from my superiors and colleagues. Unanswered calls. Suddenly, the FDI felt like the most incompetent department in the country. After an almost endless game of phone tag, I finally managed to get an appointment with a superior. Mm -hmm. The plan was to sit down and talk about the case first thing Monday morning. That Sunday night, I'm awoken by a phone call. The woman's apartment has burned to the ground. And the woman, what's left of her anyway has been found dead in the ashes. Mm-hmm. Timing sounds a little strange. Well, it gets worse. So I started looking into the fire, of course. I 
I couldn't help myself. Plus, I felt like I owed it to Mia. That was the woman's name. Mia Cole. Anyway, it wasn't long before my superiors found out and pressured me to stop. They told me the fire had been ruled accidental, the result of faulty wiring in our oven. They told me I was wasting my time and precious FDI resources by looking into it, and said if I continued, I'd end up pushing papers in a basement somewhere. But that fire, Operator Tanner, that fire it's was Korean. no accident. She's I can feel it. Mia was murdered. I just have to prove it. That's why I'm hoping you can help me. How do you know it's not an accident? Go ahead I mean, and search them in the human DB. The yeah. husband's name is Sasha. Sasha and Mia Cole. Please. Sasha Cole. Okay. I don't have the clearance level. Just another coincidence, right? Mm -hmm. Look, I don't know why, but someone doesn't want us looking into Sasha and Mia Cole. But we have to, Operator Tanner. It's our job. Who's mm -hmm. going to do it if we don't? Can you help me find proof Mia's fire wasn't an accident? I mean, how? How can we assist your five keys? You'll take a look then? Oh, thank you. As far as how to access the case files, mm -hmm. that's not really my area of expertise. But you can ask Hal. Well, Hal? How can I access the call files? Funny. I was just working on this very thing. So, it looks like I can give you direct access to the files, but I found a bug in the chat. You should be able to inject a, fear, a query that get you in. Just type this. Are you kidding me? What the fish? It seems identical. Quite identical. Mood immediate from cases where immediate. Download underscore file select. Uh -huh. Star from cases more immediate. Immediate. XQLHC XQLHC There we go Despite being, well, a thorn in the side You have to admit, Hal gets results True Caused by accident fire Stinging from malfunction wiring in victim oven some radio start fire on duration. Mm -hmm. A single undefined gold dental solution wedding ring was discovered. The autopsy revealed an anomaly transmitting the wound. Was the cause of death to the fire? Indicate no indicate for sentry. The fire team respond report to conclude. Okay. Um, ring. Ion size is 1.2 delta. Uh, I don't know how to do this. Uh -huh. How do you use a predicated cam SLCA software chemical analyzer? Uh -huh. Data report. Uh -huh. I don't know how to do this. Oh, God. What?
Hmm. Uh, I don't know. I need help. All need help. Check out the menu to learn how to find the appropriate setting. Even also, you can find the sample characteristic on the bottom left of the sample window. Bottom left of the sample window. I don't know how how to use uh huh for okay start the analyze input pre setting use the formula found there after I don't know oh how oh. Input the appropriate setting for your sample using formula found there after. Uh, is this the data report? Cam scan LCA input appropriate setting using the formula found there after. Ion size full liquid solid is in sample. This is solid, so 6.0. Non organic, non organic. Uh, I don't know, maybe to show the value of the V sample for liquid solid. I think this is sold. It should be set to half the data V. Sorry. Six. I put it six. If the matrix is organic, the ion size must be to avoid damaging the sample 3.5. Let's just set it to 3.5. And sample matrix mark the value must set it to 4. 5. I got it wrong, it seems like. Hmm. Do I need to do the math? How? Oh, I'm not good at this. Oh, I'm not wasting my time. Oh, let's try. Okay, let's try Okay, that seems correct. 6.0 Calculator, please. Do we have calculator here? Yeah, we do.
No, that's not right. Hold up. Crime? Is it organic? Yeah, that is organic. For twenty score, right? It should be right. There we go. Ah, I'm so mad. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Nice. There's the ignition. Mm. Nice. And the result is. Uh huh. Nine oh one pH is six point five. Frequency one point six two. Two point four seven. Nine two six nine ten two hundred fifty two ten point fifty two Six two four six point eight four calculated. Oh, from tallest to the show end. Okay, nine thirty. Um, nine point thirty. Two point fifty. Two point fifty. One sixty. One point sixty. Ten point sixty two. There you go. Yes, Lin. There you go. There were traces of gasoline in the fire. I knew it. Faulty wiring might... You know what. Yeah. This was no accident. Someone started this fire and killed Mia. But why? <sighs> well, what are you going to do now? But I want to know why are you doing this. It... It matters. 
worth to me. Also, I grew to know her, Mia. I mean, with our line of work, you try not to get emotionally involved. That's what they teach you at the academy, anyway. Yes, sir. Almost from the start, and usually I can turn the switch off. I learned. Is something gonna happen? feeling too. So, you found the evidence proving the fight wasn't an accident. Well done, Evans. Maybe there's hope for you yet. The way the FDA has handled the cold case, it's strange, don't you think? I want to do my job, Hall. That's it. But solving case is doing your job. So it's making sure So it's making sure victim gets justice they deserve. Look, I know you probably still don't trust me. I'm on the FDI most wanted list. I hate to your computer, I get it. But tell me something, why would I bother going to the trouble of working with a low level FDI employee employee? Sorry. If I didn't have a good reason to make my life a living hell, maybe? As enjoyable as it may be. No, Evan. That's not why I'm doing this. Maybe we're thinking about turning me in to get that reward. But it's too late. Throw it in too late. True. Operator Tanner, can I have a word? I see that you've uh, been looking into the database entries for Mia and Sasha Cole. You want to tell me why? Hmm. I see. In the future, I want you to avoid anything related to Sasha and Mia Cole. It's a closed case. A total waste of your time. And if by chance something else pops up concerning the Coles, and this is very important, you come to me right away. Understood? I'll talk to you later. Well, <laughs> I know that was probably difficult lying to your best friend, but you did the right thing. Even as a reward, I'll tell you something about myself. Something that only two other people know. The reason I have so much access to the FDI. I used to work there. You were in the FDI? I can't tell you more, but for a moment, but yes, I was. As improbable as that seemed. What do I do now, Hall? For now, nothing. I'll be in touch with them, Evan. I hope my best friend is not related to the case. So who the hell am I talking to this time? Hmm. This is still operator Tanya. 
The same operator Tanner from before. Mm-hmm. Yes, engine woke up. Good. You haven't been fired. I was afraid I'd have to explain this goddamn case all over again. <laughs> I went back to where Connie said she took the photo in the desert. You remember, right? Where yeah. she said this um flying saucer supposedly landed. I didn't find a flying saucer or any aliens breathing their last wheezy breaths or anything like that. But I did find something else. Mm-hmm. The desert heat. <laughs> I found that too, Tanner. Mm, but no, that's not what I meant. I found stones. A mm. bunch of stones lying there on the surface of the sand. I'm no uh, geologist, but they look funny to me. Like they'd been moved, put there for a reason, you know? So, I call it in. Because I'm sure as hell not gonna dig myself, Tanner. Not in this suit. A team arrives an hour later, and they start digging. Sure enough, under one of the stones, they find a body. Advanced state of decomp. They dig under another stone. And lo and behold, this time they find an entire skeleton. Turns mm -hmm. out... We're standing on some sort of desert graveyard. How many corpses are out there? Hard to say, but I counted more than a hundred stones. Oh, if they're wow. all grave markers, well, I'll let you do the math. I found a body and a skeleton. Mm. Yeah, messed up, right? And yeah. judging by the size of the skeleton, it belonged to someone young, Tanner. Real young. Look, I won't beat around the bush. The medical examiner has finished a preliminary report on the skeleton. And they found what they believe is a photo of the victim in the sand. Buried there by the bones. Never seen that before. Any chance you can take a look at all this and get me an ID, Tanner? Yeah, sure. Let me send you the files. Well, it's taken a while. Hard to access the satellite out here in Roswell. I hmm. mean, uh, dry field. <laughs> okay. Uh, Looks like it went through. About goddamn time. The skeleton appears to be female. Estimated at mm, nine years of age. Starting the examination now. Initial observations show well preserved and intact bones. No visible signs of trauma or damage. The subject is missing her left incisor. The rest of the dentition looks good. Waste no incisor. I know incision, but no incisor. Moving on. Here's something interesting. Mm -hmm. One of the metacarpal bones on her left hand, the metacarpal three, has a slight curvature. You don't see that a lot. So, to summarize, the subject appears to have been a female. Approximately nine years of age with a missing left incisor tooth and a slight curvature in the metacarpal three in her left hand. Mm -hmm. Based on the level of decomposition, the body appears to have been buried for approximately six to eight months. Further testing and analysis is needed to determine the cause of death. <sighs> Not it. Dot Jenkins. Uh, welcome to the facility, Gabby. You're in good hand now. Since really, Dot Jenkins. There is Dot Jenkins. Yep, Henry Jenkins. I identified the body, and it's broken. Gabby, Gabby, Gabby. Gabby Jenkins. Hmm. No, 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 it's not Gabby Jenkins. Um, what is his name again? Gabby Harry. Yeah, that 
looks like it could be the first name. But I'll need the last name too. I'm thorough like that. Oof. With. That's all I can find, Gabby. Then what, just Gabby? Yeah. Uh, BM Technologies. R&D Director Henry Jenkins Shit No, nothing to I don't know why I, it's already been up there, but hmm. Can I need help? Jenkins. That name rings a bell. Mm -hmm. Check the other cases for anything possibly related to him. Maybe there's a clue in there tied to the girl. What? Jenkins, Jenkins, um, Jenkins, 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 um, yeah. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna stop here for the part one. That's it. Bye bye. Return with the part two. Bye.